Chargao in the Philippines has become a mecca for surfers and beach bumps in Southeast Asia, and we've finally figured out why. With great waves and gorgeous water, it's easy to see why everyone loves Chargao so much. While we have surfed our life away for the last week we've been here, today's video is going to show you some of the main things that you can go to on Chargao that don't involve a surfboard and a good swell. <laughs> To start, we have about an hour scooter ride north, so we're gonna hop on our scooter. We just stopped to get gas, and it was really interesting because the guy in front of us who got gas uh, got like 139 pesos worth of gas and then gave the guy a thousand and he only gave him 800 back. And I noticed that when that happened and the worker wasn't going to do anything he just was gonna give him the wrong change back but luckily the guy like counted his change and was like yeah dude that's, that's not right but, so Kyle just gave him a 100 peso bill so that we didn't have to get like any change back yeah just easier to give them the exact change like amount of money and gas that you want so then they don't have to give you change yeah it prevents a little bit of scamming Yeah, let me, here, I gotta get off the bike. <laughs> so bad. I just got stung by something. <laughs> oh, ow. I'm so sick of the stinging animals in the Philippines. <laughs> I don't know why we keep on getting stung by stuff. <laughs> it hurts so bad. It's a little red. <sighs> You okay? Yeah. It hurts so bad though. All right. Well, it's been like five minutes since Maddie's beasting, but we have made it to the rock pools, and it was like 125 pesos for the both of us to get in. And now we have to pay 20 pesos to park as well. But mm -hmm. if you are Filipino, please comment below how often you get stung by just stinging animals here because. <laughs> We've both now been stung by like big old wasps and both have been stung by jellyfish. Yeah, we don't know what's going on. Are they attracted to us or does everybody no get stung? Oh God, it's <laughs> awful. Yep, Maddie's got like the same welt that I did from when I got stung in Corona on the motorbike. I think I'll be okay. So. All right, we're gonna go and check out the pools. Well, we can see the pool from the beach that we're standing on, and let me tell you, it is very packed with tourists. <laughs> <laughs> and these pools, it's important to note that you have to come here at low tide. If you don't come at low tide, there are no pools to swim in. Mm -hmm. So right now, I think we're like, we're about 15 minutes from low tide, so it looks cool. I mean, it is packed. Though. Yeah, let's go check it out. It does feel really nice after an hour bike ride. It does. It's very hot out today. Yeah. So many people. <laughs> it is really cool. The water is like this beautiful blue color. It, you can see the huge waves breaking on the reef that's like right behind us. Yeah. It is pretty cool. It's very touristy, but I would say that this one is worth it. Yeah. Over here on the opposite side of the rock everyone's jumping off of, there's like a fraction of the people and it's actually, the water is like much more blue over here as well. So if you come here, come to the other side because there's not nearly as many people. All right, climbing up the rock to jump off of it right now.
pretty fun jumping off of it. <laughs> you gonna go, Maddie? Should I? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I almost like jumping in better with tacos on it, like, braces your feet. Yeah. yeah. The tide's coming up, so the big waves keep on splashing into the tidal pool. And it's like a really strong current that just pulls you when it comes in. Alright, ready to go? Yeah. Alright, we are leaving the rock pool area to go and grab a little snack, but the only con to the rock pools is that it's super touristy, but... Well, and it's like, the rocks can be super slippery oh, yeah. when walking, so like, if you have any difficulties getting around, like this would probably not be the place to come. Uh-huh, wear your shoes, because the rocks are also sharp. Yeah. But, other than that, it is touristy for a reason, and it's really beautiful, it's a good time to just swim. And I recommend bringing a snorkel, or a mask too, because sure. I can see fish swimming around in the pool and there's a bunch of other sea life, so all together, really cool area. Yeah, but completely agree. Time yep. to grab a snack, we're hungry. Mine looks like fake meat. Guess we'll see. We just got our lunch, we're gonna eat, and we'll see you when we're done. We found the culprit for the thunder though. There are some pretty dark clouds ahead of us. Yep. We don't have a rain jacket, so hopefully. Time to hop on our bike. Gotta get going. <laughs> yep, next stop is about 20 minutes away, so we'll be there in a minute. So we just made it to the Mawson Bridge River Swing and so far we've had to pay 20 pesos to park. I'm not sure if they charge you anything to get in, but we've seen this everywhere all over social media. It is super popular. We have originally thought that it was more of like a off the beaten path kind of thing, but no, it's super popular, super touristy, but we're super excited to go to it. bridge or the little like platform I guess. Maddie's already up here. She's trying to build the courage. I was just in the water. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. I don't like that it's a plank you walk out on. <laughs> it's it's not that bad. You jumped from higher at the waterfall. Alright, ready? I'm just a weenie about this stuff, okay? <laughs> okay, you jump first. Oh I don't think I can do that. Trust me it's fine. All right, I'm gonna go. Let Maddie build up some more courage. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you got it. Let's go, Maddie. Woo! than me. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. There used to be a um, a rope here off this palm tree, but it broke, I guess. So. Well, I just said it to the camera already, but, oh, you did. but now that we're closer to this palm tree, it looks like it was being uprooted from people climbing and swinging on it, so can't go, go up it anymore. We constantly talk about on here about our year of travel and how we're really trying to like get out of our comfort zone and do things that we wouldn't normally do and jumping off of really high things is definitely one of those things I would usually never do. I hate heights. It scares me but I've gotten quite a bit better at it on this trip. We do it feel like really often so also sick if you haven't 
heard me coughing in any of these videos. So I think that makes me a little less risky too. How are you feeling? Pretty nice in this river. We just made it to the coconut tree overlook and it's just pretty much this place on the side of the road that overlooks it seems like thousands of coconut trees like they yeah. are it is impressive very impressive yeah it almost seems like they're planted here but I, I don't know they're I'm not sure about the information on that but yeah it's crazy it is super super beautiful you can also see the like the river running through over there too so pretty cool it is this pretty much um, when vans and stuff with tourists come out to the pools that we were at and to the swing that we were just or the jumping platform we were just at it's pretty much just an easy stop on the way back into uh, on the way back into town but it really is super beautiful We just put all of our stuff away and I think this concludes our day of going around Shargal. Yeah, it was a pretty good day really. We left a little bit later than we wanted to, maybe around like 11 o'clock, but yeah. we still got everything in by 3.20, so. Yeah, now it's time to go back to our place, go surfing a little bit. Yeah, gotta surf every day. All right, so we will see you in our next video.